Um, hi, sh hey, not too much. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kenan Thompson. I'm here to uh, screw you if, I, if you thought I was. Um, to Serve With Brotherly Love. To Serve With Love actually came out in 1967, and the main character was Sidney Poitier. I was going to come up here and do a whole dialogue, but when I started to sound like Sidney Poitier, I actually sounded like Sir uh, Anthony Hobson when he was in you know, Hannibal, and it didn't sound great. So, brothers, you are needed. You may not know how you can help. There are many ways to be the change. Brothers, make some noise. Okay, yeah, when I say brothers, I mean black guys. I'm sorry, FUBU right now. Okay, so, be a facilitator or a counselor. That is not actually me. There are not my kids. I just found this online. I thought it was cute. I was like, dog pound Snoopy. Okay. Being a facilitator was great. I was a part of the uh, Bridge Builder program. Any Bridge Builders? And ooh, wah, wah. Y'all paper. All right. So when I got into the program, I actually came through in 2001. I graduated in 2003. I started working every summer up to 2005. I came back to Memphis in 2010. That's right. When you're a counselor, you get to do shit like that. So... I came back, I started working at the conferences, I ended up becoming the assistant conference coordinator, I ended up becoming the recruitment coordinator for Bridges. All I wanted to do was come back to Memphis and have fun and help the youth of Memphis. Brothers, it is not that hard to do. Educators does not mean that you're actually in the classroom. There are several ways to do that. This is me and my friend Jay, we had a skit called What Did You Do For Lunch? Everybody asks me about that all the time. When you're a counselor, you get to take cool pictures like this, you crouch down. And they look like, oh my gosh, Tim, can you take a picture with us? Of course, yeah, I'll take a picture. Look at my hat. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna take this picture right now. But I have a lot, a lot of students that actually mean a lot to me. Then after that, I became a teacher. I helped to found the seventh and eighth grade year at Grizzlies Prep. I cried my whole first 30 days of work. I was like, what the hell did I get into? I ain't get ready for this shit. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm feeling them every day. But... I wanted to be like Miss Frizzle. I was a science teacher, and it's so weird to me that now Lily Tomlin now plays a retired weed smoking hippie. And that's the trajectory that I had for Miss Frizzle. I just knew that she was gonna retire and just smoke bud all day. I just knew it. But things go wrong. Even in a science class, you're like, damn it, Miss Frizzle, you didn't tell me that we had homework. <laughs> Being a teacher is hard, and I had to learn that you need to be a voice for the students and not just a speaking for it. So I put on my Denzel Washington one day. I was in the classroom. This guy came to my class. He said, I said, son, let me tell you something. When you come to my class, you make sure you shake my hand and you look me straight in my eyes. Do you understand me, son? He looked at me and he was like, <laughs> I was like, shh, no, shh, no, don't cry. Shh, no, no, I could buy a baby. This is the eighth grader. This is an eighth grader. I'm like, shh, don't cry. Shh, what's wrong? I just had a really rough day, Mr. Green. I'm sorry. I just came to class. I'm like, shh, hey, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> that was literally my face. I was like, I don't know what the hell I just did. I think I broke him. I called his mom. I was like, I broke your son. I'll buy you a new one. Just wait until Christmas. That's when we get our bonus, and all that shit will be fine. But when you are a teacher, it's a lot that's on you, but you have another route. You can be a mentor as well. I'm a part of Profound Gentlemen. It's a national um, organization that works to retain black males in the classroom. Only 2% of educators in the United States are black males. 2%. I have young men that I have from New York to Los Angeles that I talk to weekly to actually get them to stay in what they're doing. They own nonprofits, in the classroom, things like that. So I'm very grateful that we're now in Memphis and making a change. Know your worth. Decisions can be hard. Some days I'm Iron Man, I'm Spider-Man, I'm the Hulk. Some days I'm Mr. Crab. Like, what the hell is going on? I don't know what's going on. Y'all just walked up in here. <laughs> I just don't know what's going to happen next. But you have to know your worth. When they don't want you to be great, baby, you be better. That is actually me on Halloween. I was hot as hell. It was 70 degrees outside, and I was dressed as Arthur. My big ass was sweating, okay? Let's be real clear about that, but you know what? I did it for the damn kids, okay? I did it for the kids. You have to be versatile. I'm a fly-ass mother. Look. <laughs> Brothers, you have to be versatile. Either you are a mentor or a counselor or a teacher, it does not matter. As long as you are reaching the youth, that is what matters. Be the example, that is my niece. And she's one years old doing her homework. 
every Wednesday we sit down and do her homework from daycare. And she gets in that big ass chair and she does it. <laughs> I close with this. To the men that have impacted my life, to Mr. McKinney, to Mr. Anderson, to Mr. Taylor, to Dr. Hunter, to Mr. Backus, to Limon Jr., to Mario Hendricks, thank you for being the agent of change that we need in this city. God bless you. <laughs>